Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25936. And in this video, we're gonna go through what is new, what is changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, where we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. In this build, Microsoft is is announcing some new experiences after completing OB, the out of the box experience when you're installing a build from the Canary channel right now. And basically there will be certain actions that will happen if you choose different settings from the let's customize your experience page during OB. For example, if you choose development intent, the dev home app will be automatically launched on your device after logging in. Also the get started app will be automatically launched if you choose developer intent. And if you choose to restore your device during go be the get started app will be automatically launched on your device after you log in into your device for the second time after completing OB. Right now these experiences will be available to a small number of insiders in the Canary channel but you may see different variations of these experiences. Microsoft is also reminding us about the new build expiration date for insider preview builds flighted to the Canary channel which is September of 2024 so you need to keep that in mind. Inside dynamic lighting Microsoft has added the ability to choose a custom color to light up your devices with. So basically, if you select effects, go below, you have custom colors and you can select a custom lighting color for your RGB devices. Inside the task manager, Microsoft has updated the settings section from the task manager to match the Windows 11 experience. As you can see, it has a design and a similar look and feel to the settings app in Windows 11. And it provides a cleaner UI separating categories into different sections. And I think this is looking pretty nice. The end task feature under system and for developers no longer requires developer mode to be enabled first before it can be used. So basically, if you enable this, when you have an app opened, you'll have this new option to end the task directly from the taskbar. And also, as spotted by Panther on Twitter, some users that update to the latest Canary Channel build will have these new optional features automatically installed, which would be the TFTP client, the Telnet client, Windows TFFI filter, and also Windows projected file system. In my case, they are uninstalled, but some users can see that they are installed once they are update to this latest Canary Channel build. And we also have two fixes for known issues. They fixed the underlying crash which was causing .NET updates to get stuck requesting restart when Windows update setting in recent Canary Channel builds. This is great that they fixed this because I also encountered this. And they also fixed a few issues which were causing the end task option in the taskbar to not work or to close more than just the app you had selected. And basically this is all there is to it to the latest Canary Channel build. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was about your home tech base. Until next time, have a nice day.